guys, from all indications now, we can see that uh, the Igloos themselves are preparing. Of course, they've been preparing before now, but with the re new revelation from the Methodist prelate, the, let's call it uh, the man of God from Methodist church that was kidnapped some days ago. And within two days, the church was able to raise a 100 million naira. It is a great thing to know that the church really rallied around the man. If it were to be other people, they would just left the man. Oh, let, let us go and pray. Let us go and pray. And that is the reason why the, the, the man of God came out and just said everything that he saw. You see that majority of the people who are victims of all these uh, bandits or these kidnappers, you can't, what, what are you going to be hiding? Do you know what you have gone through? What else do you want to hide? What have you, what uh, what else are you going to be afraid than what you, you saw there? So all these uh, rigs by this uh, Nigeria army saying that uh, the man doesn't know what he's saying. Some people are saying, oh, it is, might not be true because he hates egos. Really, that is your own cup of tea. As old as that man is, you expect him with what he passed through to not be twisting issues. No, 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 no. What else he did? What else he did will he be hiding? Or to try to be diplomatic in all of these things. And that was what he just said everything. And one of the things that he said is what is even making the Igbos not to prepare. They've been preparing, but you can see there was one statement the man made. He said there are some places, bushes in this in the south, is that even the youth from the Igbo extraction wanted to go and comb that place. And as, as soon as they will get there to say they want to comb that place, that the army will say, If you dare go there, if you go there. We are going to finish you. What does that mean? So is that not aligning with them? Or you think he does not know what he's saying? When people come on social media and tell you this is these are the things that the Nigerian soldiers are doing, you 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 wave it off because they have a a they already have a plan. When they tell you that hey, oh they've recruited some bo repentant Boko Haram into the Nigerian army, the um, Nigerian army always come out to deny it. And immediately the man just made mention of all these things. This man of God. Said all this, said within 24 hours, we learned that the police just arrested some courtes, those who are terrorizing the whole of the Enugu. Why is it that most most of the time it is the same army that always go to the camp of a ESN, the camp of a hype up? Oh, we have dislodged them, we have done that. The next thing they told us that they've got a that they have planted the IPOB, uh, they have planted bombs left, right, and center to be able to harm them. You know, this whole thing is glaring and everybody is coming out to see what the Igbos have been saying concerning the Nigerian army. Who they have posted in their place. Every little short distance, you see checkpoints, collecting money from people, collecting money from people. And you expected the Methodist prelates, the man of God, not to say what he saw. That even within that place where these useless uh, bandits were oppressing, sharing money. That the armies were there, they can't tell you that they, they are not aware. Now they, they were telling us that eh, the man of God did not tell them, that the family did not inform them that eh, something of that nature was going on. How would they have known? Who are you telling all those cock and bull stories? You are trying to blame the man. Whereas your CDS, the chief of defense, have a rabot said, You guys, some of you are colluding with all these bandits. Did you accuse him? Did you invite him? And what he said was what Dan Juma has been saying so who is fooling who who is fooling who now for the fact that those people confessed that they told them that they've occupied all the southwest all the south south all of you that are making mad play 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 you guys are clean themselves you guys are clean themselves because i believe that it would be foolish of ipob it would be foolish of nam Bekano to send people to go and be killing people because they are, they, they, are, they are looking for the recognition. They, are, they want to get the recognition of the world because the Nigerian government is trying to tarnish their image. So if the Nigerian government is trying to tarnish their image, they don't expect them to not be killing people. See, this international, because you can't do it all alone. And that is why they need the international community to be able to see their plight. Then you think that they will not be doing their own, own work. They will not be doing their own investigation on that grand investigation concerning IPOP, whether these guys are really terrorist groups. Why is it that they've not been able to recognize them as terrorist groups in other countries? Why is it that Tignan Bekano was moving from point A to point B internationally and nobody harassed him? Why? Why is this so? Because they know that he's not a terrorist. I listened to one 
one uh, uh, one unreasonable person on radio yesterday even when people were saying that okay can you imagine with the revelation from this a uh, man of god this a uh, prelate from methodist it is evidence that the people who are doing all these things are not government enforcing a, a sit at home order they are not ipob they are not igbos and what the prelate say the leader of the gang of the kidnappers is a is from sudan his parents you know was given birth his parents were in that say, community in igbo land he speaks igbo fluently that when he was even talking to one of his uh yeah, when we were talking to his chaplain in igbo language and the guy replied him don't speak igbo yeah. and he was speaking the igbo with him the the leader of the the the, the gang leader was speaking igbo with the the the, 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 the clergyman that don't speak igbo yeah. you think i don't understand and he was just speaking he was just rapping the, the man was just shocked just speak he's speaking english here yeah. that was what the leader of the bandit gang told him so let's even leave that but this rig leader of this bandit said they are bringing all the people that they have been dislodged they are pursuing from that that area in in zamfara Kazuna, Kasina, and all of that they are they want to relocate to the southeast because the whole of nigeria belongs to them this is not the first time they've been saying it and for you to for a lot of you who are they say hey you have been hearing this over and over again even the accusation against the nigeria army this is not the first time we are hearing this kind of a thing it's been happening they've been saying it and you some some unreasonable people will still continue to doubt it you want to listen to the nigeria army not that they are not trying but there's something wrong with the leadership of the nigeria army and the Nigerian government, something is wrong with them. These guys, it does not take them anything to be able to flush them. We have heard stories from some Nigerian soldiers who have said, even at times, if they are trying to kill some of these uh, bandits, see this uh, book, uh, this book around, that some of their colleagues will even shoot them. Then why you are you are killing them too much? You are killing them too much. Like seriously, with all the revelations, we don't even need, need a soothsayer to tell us anything. But majority of the people who are bent on making sure that this country does not move forward. They will tell you it is a lie. They don't even want to see anything or hear anything, uh, any tweet coming from that region, from that uh, 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 area. And more so, that is the reason why the Igbos, they will have to do what they need to do. You know, some other regions, they, you can as well sleep. That is your own cup of tea. And I believe from my own account, it is only the IPOP, the Igbos, that have the audacity to challenge any status quo any anything that is not going well and that's why you see that they always a lot of people always go against them but the rest of you because i've said this because you don't have a, a known person who is so bold like nam de to fight for you that is why all of you are hiding under all these uh, unreasonable politicians who do not even have your interest at heart and you are following them and you are supporting and you are defending them because nam de can can stand we see, see some Igbo leaders who are others who do not even have that uh, encouragement and that boldness that Namde Kano has. And that is why you see that a lot of people are rooting for him from that uh, region. They they believe and trust him more than some of the Igbo leaders who are still politically inclined or politically affiliated with all these uh, politicians at the other side. Because all of them don't even have the good of the people at heart. So it is enough for them to be able to reinforce. You have not heard it. And that is the reason why every little thing they want to try to suppress the eastern security network and ipop to suppress them you don't ask yourself that why is it that every day almost every day almost every day we hear that uh, police stations are being bought are being whatever and you think it is the ipod that will be doing that you don't know that these guys especially the revelation from this clergyman that these guys are all over the place and they want to take over igbo land they want to not only igbo land nigeria as a whole then that's why they want to weaken the security system and they will tell you it's a hyper bro and non government bro uh, they are Igbo so and that's why without any investigation anything happens it is the hyper they will just say it is hyper but they can be going all this nigeria may be going from one point to another oh yeah we have dislodged the camp of the esn oh they are doing this they are doing that even when they were even exposed the nigeria army were exposed after like how many minutes after how many hours oh yes oh we have we have discovered that they've planted a uh, uh, bombs all over the place. What can what, what, who is going to be believing all those uh, useless stories? So, this is the time for the Igbos. You don't have to relent. To, 
you guys are strong. You don't have to relent. If other regions want to relent, forget them. Whatever name they will call you, but God will always vindicate you. You are being vindicated every now and then. It is an eye opener with this revelation from this plagi man. So guys, I leave your comment down there below and, and let us have your own take. Thank you.